Hello everyone and welcome to the event of the summer coming to you live from sunny San Diego, California. I am your host for WWE 2K19 and this is SummerSlam. This is the main event of a two part show. We just got finished with the kickoff show, already had surprises there. Now let's get to the main event, SummerSlam. We're starting off tonight with the Tornado Tag Triple Threat Match for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship. Champions Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre will defend against the reunited Wyatt family of Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman and the Brothers of Destruction, Undertaker and Kane. And the Wyatt family is here at SummerSlam. Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt recently reuniting. A common uni unified front to take on mutual opponents. Bray Wyatt when it came to Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Braun Strowman when it came to Undertaker and Kane. Now together once again, they'll take on both of those threats at the same time with the Raw Tag Team Championships on the line. Braun Strowman with his sights set on Undertaker for the past couple months. Tried to cash in his money in the bank before Extreme Rules to try to get into that six-man Hell in a Cell so he could face The Undertaker. That cash-in was unsuccessful, but he got his opportunity at Money in the Bank where he lost to the dead man in a steel cage match. And Bray Wyatt's struggles with Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler have been very well documented in recent weeks on Raw. And here come the WWE Raw Tag Team Champions, Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler. They've definitely had the number of Bray Wyatt in recent weeks, but tonight there's the added X factor of Undertaker and Kane being in the match as well. A triple threat tornado tag match Will the champions be able to withstand the odds and walk away with their belts still around their waist? And SummerSlam, brace yourself, the legends are here. The Brothers of Destruction making their way to the ring.
This match promises to be a train wreck. Pure carnage, a car crash. This match will be the definition of destruction. The bell has rung and SummerSlam is underway. Bray Wyatt and Undertaker going to work right away. Of course, they have a history with each other. Undertaker defeating Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania 31. Braun going to work on Drew McIntyre. Will Kane tangles up with Drew Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler outside the ring. Kane going to the top rope. Is he going to fly? Kane does. Misses the elbow to the outside. Dolph Ziggler gets out of the way. Braun Strowman sends Drew McIntyre out of the ring. He's gloating. Doesn't see the Undertaker come behind him. Back suplex. Undertaker and Braun Strowman are alone in the ring together. And both men have been looking forward to this opportunity. But Drew McIntyre back in the ring as Braun Strowman counters. back in the ring immediately greeted by the undertaker neckbreaker sends Bray Wyatt the eater of worlds down to the mat Kane and Dolph Ziggler still fighting outside the ring undertaker sends Bray Wyatt outside the ring and undertaker stands alone Dolph Ziggler rolling Kane back into the ring, slams him into the apron. Bray Wyatt with the back suplex on Undertaker. Ziggler, Bray, and Undertaker all in the ring right now. Famous sir to the Undertaker. Bray Wyatt continuing the stomps. Are we ready to see it? Are we ready to see a winner crowned in this matchup? Bray Wyatt with Undertaker up on his shoulders, throws him into the ropes. Now Dolph Ziggler taking his turn at Undertaker. Bray Wyatt and Dolph Ziggler going back and forth. Now they're going after each other. Drew Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler fighting his way back against Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt breaks up the count, saving his partner Braun Strowman from Kane. Ziggler and Wyatt going to work on The Undertaker, knocking the dead man down. And another famous hit to The Undertaker. Bray Wyatt trying to take the cover. Dolph Ziggler breaks it up.
Undertaker taking a bit of a beating here in this match. Dolph Ziggler and Bray White have spent a lot of time double teaming him. And now Drew McIntyre throwing the right hand right into the Undertaker's face. A kick to the gut. Undertaker finally rolls out of the ring. Ziggler and Wyatt alone inside the ring. Ziggler's had Wyatt's number. Drew McIntyre outside the ring going for the choke slam. Undertaker and Kane getting back into the ring. Undertaker's putting Braun up. No, Braun uses the elbow to get out of it. Braun gets out of the tombstone. Undertaker going for a pin on Drew McIntyre. Dolph Ziggler able to break up the count. Sort of broad strobing. Dolph Ziggler's been laying waste to the big man in this matchup. Taken down though, he's rolling outside the ring. Kane going at Drew McIntyre. McIntyre setting Kane up. Kane punches his way out of it. Lays out Drew McIntyre. Kane and Braun Strowman are alone in the ring. with the splash. Bray Wyatt going for a cover on Undertaker. One, two, two, three. Bray Wyatt has pinned the Undertaker. Undertaker taking the beatings from multiple famousers by Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler did the damage to the dead man, but Bray Wyatt got the glory, pinning The Undertaker and winning the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship for the Wyatt family. And we have new tag team champions to start off SummerSlam. Here are your winners. Ron Strowman and Bray Wyatt, the Wyatt family. And the reunion between the Wyatt family pays off. Ron Strowman and Bray Wyatt holding gold to kick off the event of the summer. Bray Wyatt exercising his own demons.
Coming up next, we have a classic match for the ages. Triple H versus The Rock. This is a rivalry that goes all the way back to the 90s, to the Attitude Era. Started, teased a little bit at WrestleMania 31, and now is kicked off with The Rock's return to WWE. The game and the great one go head-to-head -head next. The Cerebral Assassin is in the building. Triple H removed from his position in charge of Raw due to his rivalry with The Rock. It was seen as a conflict of interest. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Stephanie McMahon from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. Vince McMahon did remove Triple H from his position as the man running Raw. Vince Mc that prompted Vince McMahon to make his return. The new general manager of Raw granted Triple H this match against The Rock. These two have gone back and forth for weeks on Raw. Each picking up victories over each other and each getting involved in each other's matches. These all-time rivals will come to a head one more time. And here and comes the great one. From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment, one of the greatest WWE superstars to ever step into a ring. It is The Rock. Making his return to WWE, leading into Money in the Bank. He was placed in that Money in the Bank match that Roman Reigns eventually would go on to win. But The Rock mentioned he didn't come back for Money in the Bank. He came back to whip Triple H's ass. And that's exactly what The Rock intends to do here tonight. There's no titles, no prizes on the line. Just two men with massive egos looking for the respect from one another. This match is all about pride and personal animosity.
Here we go. The referee calls for the bell, and these two men are going to work on each other. The crowd caught. The crowd chanting for Triple H, the cerebral assassin, as he goes down with the electric chair slam. Already tonight, we've seen the WWE Raw Tag Team Champions Championships change hand as Bray Wyatt pinned The Undertaker to win the Tag Team Championship in the, th in the Triple Threat Match. We also saw the SmackDown Tag Team Championships change hand in the kickoff show as the New Day defeated the Usos. And Kevin Owens won the Million Dollar Championship from Heath Slater. Diamond Dallas Page would retain his Hardcore Championship against Diamond da against Randy Orton. And in the, in the main event of the kickoff show, Ronda Rousey would retain her title against Sasha Banks after getting herself disqualified. The Rock kicks out quickly from the Triple H's pin. Triple H with another pin attempt. The Rock kicks out even quicker this time. Whips Rocky into the corner. Court Rock fires back. The Spine Buster. Stephanie McMahon on the apron as The Rock looks to take advantage. Stephanie McMahon with the distraction. Triple H getting to his feet. Typical McMahon's. Triple H again with the cover. Rock with a quick out. Quick kick out. Triple H stomping away here. Stephanie McMahon getting involved in causing a distraction. A common sight all throughout the late 90s between these two men. And The Rock going for a rock bottom. No Triple H reverses. The Rock was looking to quickly end this matchup, but Triple H was able to escape and then guillotines The Rock right into the bottom rope. Now Triple H looking to set it up himself. He hits it. Pedigree. He flips over The Rock and goes for the pin. One, two, three. The Rock, no, Rock gets the shoulder up. Triple H won in the three count. The Rock getting back to his feet. And The Rock with a reversal as Triple H went for the high impact move. Now hits one on The Rock. That distraction from Stephanie McMahon has taken its toll on The Rock. Triple H has completely gotten the upper hand here as he throws The Rock outside the ring. Rock busted open after his face got slammed right into the ring mat. Four. 
Triple H rolling the rock back into the ring. Slams him back into the ring apron. Rock with a swing and a miss on that clothesline. DDT! The Rock firing back, The Rock going to work. Looking to regain control of this matchup. It's the spine buster. And the rock is looking for it. He hooks Triple H. Rock bottom. Rock goes for the pin. Do we have a winner? One. Two. No, Triple H gets his shoulder up. This match will continue. Rock can't believe it. He thought he picked up the victory. <laughs> Momentum swinging in favor of The Rock. Able to dish out some offense of his own to Triple H. Slam to the people's champion. And Triple H is looking for it. Roll Rock counters! Triple H was looking for the pedigree to finish this off. The Rock was able to get out of it. The Rock looking for it one more time. Triple H getting to his feet. Rock bottom. The Rock with another rock bottom to Triple H. That's got to do it. The Rock goes for the pin. One, two. No, Triple H gets the shoulder up again. The Rock angry, he wanted the three count on that. Side late speak to the game. The Rock looks to be back in control again. Float over DDT. And the spine buster. But the Rock is gassed. But he's setting up one more time. Can a third Rock bottom finish the job? Rock hits it. A third rock bottom to Triple H. The Rock with the cover. One, two, three. The Rock beats Triple H. It took three rock bottoms. But The Rock stands tall. Triple H tries to attack The Rock. Rock sees it coming. He sends Triple H outside the ring. Triple H.
Triple H tried to attack The Rock after the match, but The Rock laid him out. It's the United States Championship Triple Threat Match as Rey Mysterio defends against King Booker and Chris Jericho coming up next. And it was a, it's been a long journey for Chris Jericho to get into this match. But finally, a one-on-one -on -one victory over King Booker allowed Chris Jericho to turn this into a triple threat match. And now, here he is, making his way to the ring, looking to walk out of SummerSlam with United States Championship gold. Jericho has been feuding with King Booker for weeks and finally gets his hands on him on the big stage of SummerSlam. And here comes the king, King Booker. And introducing the challenger from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds, King Booker! After The Miz eliminated Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan and put them both out of action, Booker T was given one night as interim GM of SmackDown. This night, had him bring back the King Booker gimmick as he felt that he was in charge and too good for anyone else, including his partner for the evening, Chris Jericho. He turned on Jericho and the two have been feuding ever since, all the way through the Money in the Bank ladder match when King Booker screwed Chris Jericho out of an opportunity to come down with the briefcase. Shortly after Money in the Bank, King Booker set his sights on Rey Mysterio and the United States Championship and has been targeting Rey Mysterio ever since, making his life a living hell week after week after week. Finally being granted a United States Championship opportunity, Chris Jericho defeated him in one-on-one -on -one action to make it a triple threat match. King Booker is certainly not happy about Chris Jericho's inclusion in this match tonight. And here comes the United States Champion, Rey Mysterio! And introducing the Champion! 
from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio defending in his hometown of San Diego, California. He's held the United States Championship since May when he made his return to SmackDown and defeated Shinsuke Nakamura on his first night back. He's had successful title defenses at Backlash and Extreme Rules since then, but he has not had a triple threat match. He's not going up against one-on-one -on -one up against Shinsuke Nakamura anymore. He's got two of WWE's all-time best in the ring with him. And Jericho and Booker going right at each other while Rey Mysterio sits and watches. And now finally Jericho and Rey Mysterio going at each other. Jericho going for a suplex on Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio spins out of it. Going to work on Jericho. Showboating Booker T, that comes back to cost him as Rey Mysterio back suplexes him from behind. Irish whip into the corner, Booker T gets out of the way. Chris Jericho back to his feet. Puts Rey Mysterio into the ropes. King Booker showboating will trip. Jericho goes to the top rope, comes down with the elbow on Rey Mysterio. Elbow to King Booker. Chris Jericho is rolling. Chris Jericho, the only man on his feet. King Booker going for a quick pin. Rey Mysterio breaks it up. And now King Booker and Rey Mysterio going to work. A little double team action there between Mysterio and Y2J. Now Rey Mysterio putting in some offense on Chris Jericho. The champion standing tall, going for a quick pin. What? Nope. Chris Jericho instantly kicks out. Not enough offense done to Y2J. Well, Rey Mysterio continuing with the offense. Irish whips Chris Jericho into the ropes. Chris Jericho counters. King Booker from behind. Slamming the head into his knee. Shen Buster to Rey Mysterio. Irish whips the champion into the corner. Rey Mysterio uses the elbow to get out of it. Jericho from behind on Booker. And now Jericho to the champion. Suplex. Lion Salt to King Booker. He's going for the cover. One, two, we're going to have a new champion. No, King Booker gets the shoulder up. Rey 
Mysterio and Chris Jericho staring each other down. With King Booker out of the ring, Chris Jericho is trying to set up Rey Mysterio. He wants to win the championship now. No, Rey Mysterio gets out of the way. Spinning her a Corona to Y2J, the champion in charge. Chris Jericho with the counter. Jericho rolls outside the ring, leaving King Booker and Rey Mysterio one-on-one. -on -one. King Booker going for the scissor kick. He's going to hit it. King Booker going for the cover. Do we have a new champion? One. Two. two. No, Rey Mysterio just kicks on, out. Baby. And Chris Jericho's heating up. Climb into the top rope. And he gets Booker. He's setting up the walls of Jericho. He's got it locked in. And Rip King Booker just gets out. Irish whips Chris Jericho over the ropes to the outside. King Booker, the only man on his feet, but both men outside. King Booker's got to win this match inside the ring. Jericho flies, but King Booker rolls out of the way. Booker going for the cover. Rey Mysterio breaks it up. Now Rey Mysterio wants to cover. King Booker breaks it up. DDT to King Booker. Rey Mysterio wants to hold on to his championship. Two. King Booker kicks out. Face Buster. And now Rey Mysterio going top rope. He wants to fly. And he hits the frog splash. One, two, two, Chris Jericho just gets the shoulder up. This match continues. Chris Jericho misses with the code breaker. Ray Mysterio. Reverse her Karana on Chris Jericho. Now Rey Mysterio going to work on King Booker. Jericho getting back into action. Whips him into the corner. Bulldog. Jericho goes for the cover. Rey Mysterio's out and outside the ring. The referee was knocked down. He's barely getting back to his feet. One, two. No, King Booker gets the shoulder up. You got to think Chris Jericho could have won the championship. We could have had a new United States champion. Chris Jericho with the roll up. Referee counts one, two. Do we have a new champion? No, King Booker again just gets the shoulder up.
Chris Jericho laid out with the face buster. And a big spine buster from King Booker. The cover, one, two, we got a new champion. No, Rey Mysterio just kicks out. Jericho able to slide back into the ring. Goes right after King Booker with the reverse back suplex. And he's setting up Rey Mysterio for the walls of Jericho. Can he get him locked in? And Rey Mysterio gets to the ring, gets to the ropes. And he does it again. Rey Mysterio not on the ropes this time. And he makes Rey Mysterio submit. We have a new United States Champion. Chris Jericho locks in the walls of Jericho a second time on Rey Mysterio, pulling him away from the ropes and is able to get the champion to tap out. Chris Jericho was on a quest for gold, and he got it. Chris Jericho walks away from SummerSlam with the United States Championship. Charlotte Flair has been looking to get her hands on Becky Lynch for weeks. And Becky Lynch has always run away from the matches, has attacked Charlotte from behind. But now she won't be able to do that as she puts her championship on the line against Charlotte Flair in an Iron Woman match. And that's coming up next. The following contest is an Iron Man match and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And here comes the queen, the number one contender, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair has been able to stand tall every step of the way in this feud on her quest for the Women's Championship. Becky Lynch has avoided matches and attacked Charlotte from behind, but anytime these two have been in the ring one-on-one, -on -one, it's been Charlotte who's emerged victorious. Now she gets a chance to do it on the big stage when it counts the most with the gold on the line. And the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion is here. It's Becky Lynch. Yeah, 
no more, no more running, Becky. You're finally going to have to face Flair. Introducing the challenger from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynn. Becky's had two consecutive losses to Charlotte Flair on SmackDown. You gotta wonder if that's in the back of her mind coming into this matchup. It's never good to come into a championship match with a lack of confidence. Although Becky Lynch has never lacked confidence before, you gotta wonder if that's why she's been so avoidant of the Queen. Now this is an Iron Woman match, so we have Iron Man match rules. At the end of the timer, whoever scores the most points via pinfall, submission, DQs, at the end will be declared the winner and the new SmackDown Women's Champion. So this match will not end after just one fall. Charlotte Flair with the upper hand in the early goings. Now Becky Lynch finally firing back. The running elbow to Charlotte Flair. And now she's stomping away at her challenger. Charlotte Flair with a counter of her own. Float over DDT, lays out the number one contender. Becky Lynch is in control. Something that we have not seen on SmackDown in recent weeks. Charlotte Flair kips up, back to her feet, but Becky Lynch just drops her right back down. This is a Becky Lynch that we have not seen in recent weeks on SmackDown. Where is this coming from? Becky Lynch is on fire in this Iron Man match. <laughs> Becky Lynch looking for the four, first fall. She's got the armbar in. Will she make Charlotte tap? No, Charlotte able to escape. Charlotte Flair channeling, channeling her father. And Charlotte Flair's fire, getting fired up. She goes for the spear, but Becky counters.
Becky Lynch looking to fly. Coming off the top rope with the leg drop and she connects. Becky goes for the cover. One, two, no, Charlotte just gets the shoulder up. Charlotte Flair counters and knocks Becky down with a vicious chop. And she's got the figure four locked in. Can Charlotte Flair get the first point? No, the champion able to fight out of it. The champion sends Charlotte into the steel steps. And again. Charlotte with the counter. Sliding back into the ring. Taking it to her challenger. He's suddenly dominant in this Iron Woman match. Going one more time. Becky goes for the cover. One. Two. No, Charlotte kicks out. Still no fall scored in this match. Charlotte doesn't know what hit her. This isn't the same Becky that she's been seeing the last few weeks on SmackDown. This is a dominant Becky Lynch showing why she is the SmackDown Women's Champion. Becky looking to tap out Charlotte. She's got locked in. No, Charlotte Flair is able to get out.
spear again, and Becky able to get out of it one more time. But Charlotte still fighting back. Charlotte going for the cover. Becky no selling all that off and kicking out before even one. whip into the corner, but Becky rolls out of the way. Now Charlotte's firing back. She sends Charlotte back into those steps. Charlotte getting back into the ring. Eight. Oh, bad decision from Charlotte. Under five minutes to go here. Still no falls in this matchup. Becky sets her up. She's got it locked in. Charlotte still able to withstand and get out of it. Three and a half minutes to go. No, Becky's still able, kicking, able to kick out. Becky with the counter. <laughs> Becky setting up. No, Charlotte able to counter. into the corner. And another counter. Irish whips Becky into the ropes. Becky Lynch with the counter. And Charlotte with one of her own. And we're at the two minute warning here. Now 
natural selection to the champion. Can, Beck, can Charlotte make the cover? One. No! Becky Lynch still gets the shoulder up. A minute and a half to go and still no falls. Charlotte going for another cover. Becky Lynch again kicks out. the first cover on Charlotte Flair. And with only about 30 seconds to go, you got to wonder if there's going to be enough time for Charlotte Flair to come back. And Becky Lynch locks it back in. Oh, Charlotte able to get out. seconds remain. Becky wants to make Charlotte tap. No! Charlotte's able to get to the ropes. She's got 10 seconds to make a cover. Becky Lynch is going to go on to win. Becky hangs on 1-0. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. What a showing from both women here tonight. Becky Lynch had a lot to prove to the WWE Universe after her cowardly behavior the past few weeks. And she did just that, withstanding everything that Charlotte had to throw at her and coming away victorious. Next up, we have the NWO and Sting going up against the Shield in a six-man tag match. Two of the greatest factions in sports entertainment history will collide here at SummerSlam. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 608 pounds, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, the NWO. Hall and Nash making their return to WWE, recruited by Sting to even up the numbers against The Shield. Of course, Sting has been feuding with The Shield for months, going back to his return to WWE, targeting Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins, who nearly ended Sting's career years ago in a match. Sting looking for retribution, winning the Intercontinental Championship from Seth Rollins at Extreme Rules. The next night on Raw, Seth Rollins bringing his Shield brothers to take out Sting and give him his Intercontinental Championship back. Sting looking to even the numbers, brought back two of his old WCW mates, Hall and Nash, the NWO.
He's here. And their partner from every man's nightmare, weighing in at 250 pounds, the man known as Steve. And here comes Sting, still looking to get his hands on Seth Rollins and the rest of the Shield. He'll have his opportunity here tonight in San Diego. The most dominant force in the WWE today, The Shield, Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins, Mr. Money in the Bank Roman Reigns, and their buddy Dean Ambrose. It's going to be a battle for the ages as the NWO and S.H.I.E.L.D. collide at SummerSlam. Roman Reigns starting against Kevin Nash going right at him. The former Universal Champion lost his championship at Extreme Rules in the six man Hell in a Cell where John Cena picked up the victory by pinning Finn Balor. Of course, that match happens later tonight when John Cena defends against Finn Balor one-on-one -on -one in Cena Balor 2. But before we get there, we've got this matchup. The Shield versus the NWO and Roman Reigns just dominating the early goings. Kevin Nash into that ring post.
Superman punch. Oh my God, they're calling for it. Roman Reigns on the turnbuckle. Triple power bomb off the turnbuckle. Sting back in the ring to break it up. Nash going for the power bomb. Roman Reigns gets out of it, busting Kevin Nash wide open. Now Seth Rollins coming in. Kevin Nash finally making the tag. Here comes Sting. It's Sting and Seth Rollins. And now it's Dean's turn. Here comes Dean Ambrose. And the big clothesline takes Sting down. fighting out of it. He gets out of it. Roman Reigns back in. And Nash knocks him right down. And again. And a third time. Kevin Nash taking it to Mr. Money in the Bank. The Superman punch lays out Kevin Nash. Roman Reigns looking for it. He hits it, Spear! The Spear lays out Kevin Nash. Unable to go for the pin. It's taking everything out of him too. And the big boot lays out Mr. Money in the Bank. Here comes the cover. Roman Reigns with a quick kick out. Nash sizing up Roman. He's going to go for it. Setting up the power bomb. Roman Reigns counters in with EDT. Now 
Roman Reigns is looking for it. And another Superman punch. Hall and Sting going to work on Roman in the corner. And now he's going for the cover. One, two. Nash able to kick out. And the spear. Roman goes for the cover. One, two. Roman. Scott Hall able to break up the count. And he goes for the counter again. The referee making the count. One, two. Kevin Nash able to kick out. You gotta wonder if Kevin Nash has anything left, but he sends Roman Reigns into the corner. Both men struggling to get to their feet. Roman to his corner. He tags in Seth. Scott Hall tried to get the tag, but Seth comes in and pulls Kevin Nash out of the corner. With the way the shield has been able to keep Kevin Nash from making a tag, there he goes, he tags his partner, Scott Hall. This was almost looking like a three on one handicap match, but now, Scott Hall is in, and Seth Rollins going right to work on him, too. Seth knocked down off the top rope. Scott Hall going to the top with him. And the top rope fall away slam. to Scott Hall. Seth going for the cover. Scott Hall able to get his feet to the ropes. Seth Rollins off the ropes. Now he tags in Dean Ambrose. The shield looking like a well-oiled machine here. Ambrose hits Hall into the corner. And the Bulldog to Hall. Gonna counter Spear. One, two, three. 
Roman Reigns picks up the victory over Scott Hall. The Shield defeats the NWO. The Shield absolutely dominating from bell to bell. The Shield just punishing NWO. Here are your winners, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. The Shield. And Mr. Money in the Bank picks up another victory. The Shield standing tall. What's this? Samoa Joe? What's Samoa Joe doing here? We haven't seen Joe since Backlash when AJ Styles took him out in that last man standing match. AJ Styles is scheduled to face The Miz here tonight. Why is Samoa Joe coming out to the ring? I'm, I'm confused about what we're seeing right now. I don't know what this is. This should be The Miz coming out to the ring right now. I'm not sure exactly what we're seeing here. Samoa Joe hasn't been here for months. Hi, AJ. You miss me? Samoa Joe calling out AJ Styles, but AJ Styles has a match tonight. What? What? I know you have a championship match tonight against The Miz, I think it is, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen tonight, AJ. Why don't you take a look? And what, what is, what is Samoa Joe talking about? He says he's got some footage, what? Oh my God, Samoa Joe has taken out The Miz. Samoa Joe saying he wants AJ Styles tonight for the WWE Championship. He's sent the, he, he's attacked The Miz backstage. The Miz can't compete tonight. Samoa Joe went backstage and attacked The Miz in his locker room. The Miz is gonna have to be taken out of here to be taken to a hospital, and Samoa Joe wants AJ in a championship match. I, I can't believe what we're seeing here. Is, is AJ going to, to accept the challenge? What?
And here comes the champion, AJ Styles. How is he going to respond to Samoa Joe's challenge? AJ Styles was supposed to face The Miz one-on-one -on -one tonight, but Samoa Joe comes back. We haven't seen him since May, and he reveals that he attacked The Miz backstage tonight in his locker room. The Miz has been taken out of the stadium. He's being taken to a San Diego hospital, and Samoa Joe is challenging AJ Styles to a championship match. I've, I've never seen anything like this. And Samoa Joe going right after AJ Styles. The referee rings the bell. I guess this match is... I guess this match is official. I guess this is a sanctioned championship match because Samoa Joe is going right after AJ Styles. I can't believe what we've seen transpire here. But AJ Styles fighting back on Samoa Joe. AJ going for a quick hit. Samoa Joe kicks out. For weeks, we've been expecting The Miz versus AJ Styles at SummerSlam. The classic bouts that Miz and AJ had together on SmackDown. That's what we were looking forward to here tonight. And to come to find out that Samoa Joe has ruined it to try to get back at AJ. Samoa Joe taunting the San Diego crowd, taunting his opponent. with the counter on Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe ducks out of the way. Samoa Joe going for a quick cover. No, not quite. AJ's got more heart than that, Samoa. You should know that. And he's got it locked in. AJ able to fight it and break free. Samoa Joe rolling out of the way. AJ hits nothing but Matt. Samoa sends AJ to the outside.
And Samoa Joe just wants to hurt AJ Styles. Joe looking to end it. Goes for the cover. One, two, no, AJ just gets the shoulder up. Samoa Joe's got that look in his eyes. And he's got it locked in. new WWE Champion. Samoa Joe took Miz out. Miz needs medical attention. Came out and challenged AJ for the championship and absolutely destroyed him here tonight. Does this mean Joe is really our WWE Champion? Has AJ Styles' incredible run as WWE Champion actually come to an end? I have no idea what to make of what we just saw here tonight. This is just absolutely bananas. Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina Clutch and taps out AJ Styles. As far as I know, this was a legitimate sanctioned match for the championship. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion. And we 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 have a new champion. A new champion has been crowned here at SummerSlam. My God. And now it's time for our main event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. Finn Balor gets his shot against John Cena. Wait. Is it? Could it be? Could this be? makes his way to SummerSlam.
The Demon is here looking to take that Universal Championship off of John Cena. Balor and Cena have been going back and forth with each other for months since Cena attacked Finn Balor from behind to start off a match. And then, of course, John Cena won the, the Universal Championship at Extreme Rules in the six-man Hell in a Cell, pinning Finn Balor. The one-on-one re, the -on -one rematch was at Money in the Bank, where John Cena used the chair with the referee's back turned to knock down Finn Balor, take the upper hand, and finish the match with an AA. Finn Balor requested this match and was granted a rematch, and the Demon is here. Here comes the champion. Does John Cena know what he's in here for tonight? Introducing the challenger from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! Introducing the champion from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, John Cena! We've already had one major championship change hands tonight with Samoa Joe defeating AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Could we have another one change hands here tonight? And the main event is up. Finn Balor, Demon Finn Balor going right after the champion. And the kick to the side of John Cena's head.
And the demon rolling out of the ring. Slams the champion into the ring apron. Versus sending Demon into the steps. Send Cena into the corner and the chop. Balor connects with the drop kick. Cena rolls outside the ring. Balor with the suplex. Cena breaks free. Looking to take advantage. Irish with Demon into the ropes. Balor sets up the 1916 and hits it. And now Demon going to the top rope. Is he going to hit the coup de grace? Can he finish this match off already? He hits it. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. Finn Balor has won the Universal Championship. Wait. No way. Is Roman Reigns really going to do this? He's going to do it. He's cashing in. Roman Reigns is cashing in on the demon Finn Balor, who just won the Universal Championship for John Cena. You've got to be kidding me. going right to work on the new Universal Champion. Balor making quick work of Cena, but now getting cashed in on by Roman Reigns. Goes for the cover. One, two. Finn, Finn Balor able to kick out. Tonight on SummerSlam, we've already had Samoa Joe. Spear! We've already had Samoa Joe take Miz's spot in the championship match. And now we've had Roman Reigns cash in on the demon Finn Balor.
Demon Finn Balor finally beat John Cena to win the WWE Universal Championship and Roman Reigns cashes in. I can't believe what we've seen here tonight. A Superman punch followed by a spear. Roman Reigns has conquered the demon Finn Balor after cashing in. Finn Balor's dreams have been crushed here tonight at SummerSlam. And it's Roman Reigns who stands tall at the end of SummerSlam. Thank you everybody for tuning in with us tonight. I have been your host for WWE 2K19 and this has been SummerSlam.